The Heart of Haiti exhibition opens in London after its tour of the major cities in Spain. Visitors can appreciate the work of Alberto Pla and Techo at the gallery in London. His work conveys the passion, will and courage of the Haitian volunteers to overcome poverty. David Halley, chair of the Board of Trustees of Techo UK, welcomed the guests to the Vernissage and presented Techo's results to date. It's been a real privilege working with Techo. Uh, I started, uh, well I first met them in 2004 in Santiago when I was taken out to one of the campamentos to see what they were doing and I was um, asked to help in January last year to set up the Board of Trustees and the Charitable um, Foundation here, which uh, we duly did, and we've got an excellent Board of Trustees and a great, a great um, advisory council. Thanks very much to everybody for coming along, and thanks so much to um, all of the supporting cast, the Board of Trustees, the Advisory Council for your help, but particularly for the team, Sebastian, Felipe, and the volunteers who've made this possible. I'm delighted to say that we have the photographer who took these amazing pictures in Haiti. One thing I would say before passing over to Alberto is that, uh, is that um, Sebastian Smart, who's our, our director here, the uh, director of the full-time staff, was in Haiti in 2010 for the operation with Techo, building the houses. And in that first year alone, they built something like a thousand houses and they had something like 60,000 volunteers helping them, which is just amazing. That's what they do. Alberto Pla gave an emotive speech, remembering his experiences from previous projects and inspiring the audience to work towards a fairer and more humane world. It was not until 2011, after finishing my studies in psychology, when I decided to travel to India to document the work of an NGO. Uh, I felt the desire to understand how the world works. I felt the desire to explore, to take my camera and work hard under the strong belief that through my pictures I could improve it. A great phrase that I marked the rest of my life, no thanks, no sorry, I never felt more human. I continued to work harder than ever on that direction and executed projects in Mozambique about the importance of education. There were not hundreds, but thousands of students getting, developing their skills, thanks to people devoting their body and soul to feed, educate and develop people. I think Techo's work is fantastic. Um, I work for the Embassy of Brazil here in London and we helped uh, with the launch event of Techo in London. And one of the most exciting things, I think, is uh, not only the work on the ground with the communities, involving students, involving communities, but also this very, very uh, uh, interesting work to expand all over Latin America, and now this idea to go uh, over into Africa. With Techo, I have seen that a change is possible, really. The world is changing. We all contribute to the development and we all can pull together for the world we want. Today, we don't have before us the image of a photographer who projected his hopes and dreams in the largest slam in Haiti. We see girls jumping around the skipping rope despite of poverty, students managing to graduate, families sleeping indoors after all hours work through the partnership between local residents and young volunteers, where cooperation is well understood and meaningful. It probably generates a change on the way I think about poverty. As me living here, there is many realities which I haven't seen from somewhere outside the United Kingdom or either Europe. Therefore, it made me think back where are we in real life worldwide. Uh, I think these are really important and positive images to show. Um, it's really important especially to a European audience to uh, promote the positivity about people who are actually genuinely interested in overcoming the poverty in which they live um, and are actively kind of taking, uh, taking steps to overcome that poverty themselves. Um, I think those messages are really important to portray to a, a UK and European audience um, and it's just a far more positive message to get across to people that we can genuinely make a difference um, and that Tetro's work is doing exactly that. During the event, the audience were given a preview of the Heart of Haiti documentary that will be released next. 
I actually think that Alberto's work is something of great, reasonable work based on a reality. And because of it, he get my full credit. Um, I will comment to others tomorrow um, that this is something that they need to see. And we, the ones that are in power, we need to do something about it very soon. I think Alberto's work is very interesting because it shows hope. Um, it shows that uh, poverty isn't always absolutely miserable. Um, people are living in difficult conditions, but there is hope. You can see it in their eyes. You can see it in the activities that they're engaged in in these photos. And I think that's really interesting. And it, it inspires hope in me. And I hope it does inspire hope in other people as well when they see these images. Well, Alberto's photographs are fantastic. As I said, they really indicate what the conditions are like. But they do give you a sense of optimism. Um, there's a lot of happiness in the photographs. Of course, they're brilliantly photographed, brilliantly taken pictures. So he's done a fantastic job. And it was very interesting to hear his very, very moving speech about, um, about his work and helping to, pe to help people in, in such conditions. Yeah. I'm sharing with you this itself is the world I want for my children, where there is dignity in spite of poverty, happiness inside sadness, and love against tragedy and misery. The heart of fighting shows that there is a world that is changing, and this fight is worth it. Thank you very much to everyone for coming to this evening. Thank you very much.